Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning Express YouTube channel. Oh, friends, today in this video, I am going to uh, show you what was my preparation strategy. So I have designed a um, word file where I have mentioned few links related to the videos uh, that I watched. And also I recommended a uh, few uh, books and uh, some links where you can get the material for the placement preparation. So I'll start from the very basic, the how I started and how uh, my friends along with me and my seniors started the preparation. I have the experience of discussion with different people, my friends and my seniors, so that you can get a good motivation out of them. So when first thing is that the placement preparation is already started for this year students. So you may not get uh, much time to complete all the things, but I will tell accordingly so that what material you can study or what uh, practice you can do. And rest uh, things are uh, mentioned here. They can be followed by the other students who are uh, now the first year in the MTech, especially in IITs, because they would have the enough time. But for this year student, especially I'll uh, crisp my content and what should they prepare so that uh, they can get better placements. Okay. So yeah, this title is a placement preparation. So first we will proceed like uh, everyone knows there are two steps for every company. One is our written exam. Second is our interview written exam section. There are two things. One is your empty section. Everyone knows these things, but I am just uh, mentioning here so that I can uh, make my flow accordingly. FT section, second is a technical. <clears throat> and in <clears throat> FT section, in FT section, everyone knows that what to study. If you don't know, I can uh, uh, relate a few things. I can tell you a few things which are important. Uh, like uh, first most important thing that I observed personally was the DI, data interpretation, everyone knows. Uh, in written exams, companies are asking, I think every company, you know, wherever I appeared, uh, that from the very starting of uh, Qualcomm written exam, and after that, uh, Intel written exam, Micron written exam, then Texas written exam, everyone uh, is interested in asking the data interpretation questions. More or like these questions are somehow the pie chart and the line graphs. So maximum questions they are asking about this pie chart and uh, some from this line graph also. You can see this thing. I will mention the link below in this description and few links are mentioned in this uh, word file also, which I will explain something uh, about them in this video only. But uh, later you can visit what are the important uh, places where I prepared from where I prepared uh, for my interview or for, for my written exam especially this DI part I prepared from one place. And after that, the, all other things like profits, profit loss, and uh, like uh, work time distance, man and work speed distance. So these all are the important section in FT part. Apart from this, you can uh, see few questions of English also. More like this uh, screen test, uh, this screen test is like a gate exam. So uh, maximum things are they are uh, checking in you know, a student there is a quant, which I mentioned above. And after that few uh, companies are interested in English also. So this part you can prepare like from uh, any uh, websites are there means uh, there are a few link, uh, few links I'll mention from there. You can practice the questions more. You practice the question. You can uh, get edge on others. Because in this section, I personally found that uh, we were lagging. So to uh, excel this particular field, we have to practice more. Everyone knows. And as we have experience from the gate exam, as much as we practice this section, we can score more and fastly. Because uh, during the shortlist, it was found that uh, people who got uh, good, uh, uh, correct questions in this FT section, they were shortlisted first or it is more like that because technically we all prepare uh, almost to the same label. So everyone can 
uh, yeah, everyone can solve the technical part. But the point is that how to excel this field. So these are few topics I mentioned, but DI is important uh, because these questions may be some lengthy. And after that, profit, loss, work, time, and uh, man, work, the speed, distance, pipe, and systems, all the topics which are explained in the gate exams, gate syllabus. And few companies like Micron, they ask in English also. So be prepared with the label of a gate exam, whatever you prepared, and be more focused on the DI. Okay. So uh, how to study this? This is the thing I told you. These are the things you can uh, prepare. But how to manage the time for it and how I managed actually. So during my technical uh, preparation, I was uh, solving the questions of the quant. Solving more questions of quant along with technical preparation. The people who have started the preparation for the placement this year, most probably people have started because the summer internship is now nearly over. From August, they will have the new session. Uh, so mm, you should uh, start the preparation of this section because at the end when there will be the written exam most probably in IITs it will start uh, means around October in IIT Kharagpur uh, the exams were started um, were, uh, means exams were started around half of the October so from August itself start this section start it solve few problems daily solve few problems daily because uh, uh, we know that once we will uh, once we will enter inside the technical preparation we will not have much time so we have to start our technical journey from here also technical is also important from here because technical stuff plus project these will be th these will be two major things that we will do in this semester that is the third semester so hardly we will get time for ft part so what we do, we have to do from August itself, we have to enter inside the section and uh, start solving few questions from the website and wherever uh, we can get questions. Okay. And we can watch, I especially watched few videos also. You can follow the YouTube. YouTube, there are many links available. Many videos are available on e every section of this part. Every section, many videos are available there. Because there is no specific uh, YouTube content uh, designed for the placement safety, but you can find the different links I visited or different websites I visited. I can mention I will links and websites will be mentioned in description. Okay. So you can follow different links, different websites or YouTube channels for particular topic. What I did, I actually visited particular um, website or particular um, uh, means YouTube channel for some particular topic. So you will not get a stuff at a one place, but accordingly, whatever the topic you are not feeling good, you can uh, start watching these videos. And parallelly, there are a lot of questions solved in YouTube itself. You can practice from there. Once you pause the video and solve the question, then proceed. This is the one way of solving the question of FT. And other way of solving the FT question is that once watch the video and try to gather questions related to these topics, you will get a lot of questions on internet. And also you can ask your seniors. I'll try to put maximum questions possibly with the, 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 which were asked. Uh, so from there you can uh, get some help. But my point is that be uh, very serious about this section from very starting of August. Because uh, uh, many people had already started because uh, in the summer, summer internship people start preparing the, for the placements. So for you, I will tell that uh, from at least who has not started yet, you should start from August. Look into this matter of the FT section. So I mentioned, I think now you have clear what is the idea. Idea is that you would have YouTube lectures, watch the video and practice the question. Watch videos related to particular topic and solve questions. Okay. So I think this is uh, enough to tell you about the technical uh, that uh, FT, FT part. But now let's come inside the technical section. So for VLSI profiles, especially analog, there are a lot of things we need to do. So whosoever not started yet, I'll tell them to proceed slowly. Slowly means to say you have to be step by step preparation. So we have to increase our step by step move. So as per my observation from written exams and interview of different companies, I found that 
more of the, most of the companies are interested in rc circuits mos basics amplifier basics amplifier basics a uh, few special topics few special things some company asked in interview means you can have five transistor ota five t ota means the differential amplifier or single stage op amp okay so this is important and after that a uh, few companies asked questions uh, from switch capacitor circuits switch cap circuits so in rc basic circuits now for rc basics what i did watched videos and practiced question according to my strategy i'll tell from where i watched the videos and how i practiced the questions so uh, for rc basics there are many youtube channels are there that you can follow i mentioned the link in this uh, in this uh, video itself so on youtube for the rc there are i follow three resources one that is your uh, champion t youtube channel champion t youtube channel first champion t youtube channel after that himanshu agrawal himanshu agrawal uh, placement videos on analog rest i watched uh, uh i cleared few concepts of rc basics and first order and second order circuits from uh basic electrical science some course uh that is uh, from nagendra krishnapura iit madras nagendra krishnapura iitm and also there is basic electrical or basic electrical science is also provided by professor rajavi okay so this is about the rc circuits now how you can practice the questions in champion t already he has provided many questions so you can practice the questions from here champion t and himanshu agrawal also solved many questions in his youtube channel you can practice the question from there first stop the video and after that you can uh, solve them that then see the solution this should be the strategy i also followed this thing and why i went to the nagin krishnapura sir because he also given the fundamental of first order circuits how to analyze the circuits and how these all people are analyzing so i found most relevant or basic things he has uh, used in his videos so accordingly i found that uh, people like uh, champion t channel and himanshu agrawal is also using the same strategies so to correlate the things how to analyze the circuits i found uh, uh, from these three channels and in rajabi basics you can see this uh, the most fundamental uh, you can say most fundamental analysis of these circuits you can find because his uh, content is awesome you can see in rajabi electronics 1 rajabi electronics 2 i already mentioned in this video so he has the uh, means uh, next level content i will see that so for fu fundamental who are who have enough time they can also watch the rajabi part but who have uh, who are preparing for this year they must watch this champion t rc questions and himanshu agrawal and if they have time they can watch him if they have some confusion otherwise no need to go into uh, this iitm lectures also okay so this is about i say so now better to write uh, better than writing here i will directly go to the links and there i will explain about okay here i will explain about so yes okay hmm for basic rc circuits you can see here i have mentioned the link for the rajabi basic circuits here all lectures are important if you can watch then it is good otherwise no problem so good concepts of rc rln rlc circuits are there you can uh, visit this link i'll mention this document i'll provide this document in uh, description also and after that basics of uh, this electrical circuits by nagendra krishnapura sir and okay so other few videos mentioned here are yeah introduction to electrical science introduction this champion d first 33 lectures are recommended and rest are depend on person particular person you can watch everything here rlc circuits rc circuits and whatever is important rl circuit you can watch everything here but the point is that depending on your time every related to register register inductor register capacitor register inductor capacitor means you can watch all these things here well explained i followed him rigorously i followed him and i practice questions from his channel so first 33 lectures are recommended then preparation of interview himanshu agrawal 
try to watch the maximum number of possible videos there i think uh, 90 videos something are there you can watch if you can watch maximum videos it will be better for you i watched uh, complete videos there is a concept of uh, means inverter is there cmos inverter concept of differential amplifier is well explained many questions of rc are discussed here so you can see so this is the rc part is covered what i watched there okay so after that now now come to the mos basics so mos basics is very important for everyone it is recommended this razavi electronics one from lectures 29 to 45 they are very important you can watch them so mos basics and op amps are discussed well in this particular lecture you can see here and you can practice the questions from razavi book yeah you can practice the question from razavi book i solved the uh, chapter 2nd uh, 3rd 4th 5th 6th exercise part so i recommend you to to solve may at least first second and third chapter okay first is also just a basic so first second third chapter if you can solve the exercise part and discuss with the friends it will be helpful for your placements okay so now so in in interviews also it can be asked about the mos capacitors which is very important actually so for that i have recommended you a channel which is nothing but a uh, gate academy das sir is there i learned uh, very good is he is i think very nice uh, professor in uh, means uh, uh, edc domain so you can learn at least basic things a deep, deep explanation a design level of the mos cap is given by him so you can see this thing here because mos capacitor is very important as at device level they can ask if they will require otherwise it's not that much important but some questions in written exam also it can be asked at device level so you can watch here if you have time then i found that in written exams uh, bjt questions were also there just uh, bjt biasing bjt amplifier or bjt uh, operation region so you can see here i have mentioned here das sir again lecture number 1 to 13 bjt amplifier the concept of biasing concept of reasons of bjt everything is well explained you can see here and uh, yeah so yes this this is a lecture a transistor biasing and transistor reasons by umesh tande sir lecture 8 to 17 you can see in this playlist so after that the diode characteristics are also very important you can see the questions on more or the, like the basic diode circuits and after that clipper clamper circuits the complete analog stuff of diode and related to its um, mode of operations and diode modeling and diode applications especially about the gene diode so maximum things are available in this link this is again by dhande sir you can see it here and the maximum other uh, things like about the diode you can uh, google it and you can practice the questions about modeling of diode which is important topic you will find in interview also and you will you may find in interview but you will find for sure in written exam now it's comes the most important topic that i will say for interview as well as for written exam that is a cmos inverter for particularly preparation of this topic i visited a uh, few videos not one video i visited the links of three four videos and after that i practiced question from different places so about this this is omesh dhande sir he explained about the foundation of so it people who are not knowing anything you can go through this video and good understand one thing is that his videos are maximum in hindi so one who is not comfortable for that there is an himanshu agrawal video and one is deep analysis done by the iit madras professor janki raman this is just uh, i have taken this topic and i i uh, studied this topic from the digital ic design course uh, so as you can see the knowledge of this uh, particular cmos inverter is very important so whether you are preparing for digital domain or whether you are preparing for analog domain it is important for both so depends on what how much time you can give at least you should prepare so there are three links available uh, so this is not recommended for all one who can understand hindi and uh, one who is interested in from very foundational very starting of this particular cmos inverter design and analysis one can visit that link otherwise the himanshu agrawal i think two hours video is there uh, everything about the cmos inverter you can see here and this is a awesome this is complete playlist is there you can see the lectures 14 to 30 you will learn about if you are from the digital background then fan out fan in everything is there and many analysis related to cmos inverter are provided here 
So now the, the diode part is completed, CMOS inverter is completed, MOS basics, BJT circuit, BJT amplifier, BJT regions, and BJT uh, means uh, uh, what you can say. Okay. So now it comes uh, to some uh, other topics. I found that this year uh, they asked a uh, few companies asked the question related to this uh, switch cap circuits. Okay, uh, in the switch cap part, they are interested more nowadays because I found in this, uh, one company or one, two companies asked the questions in internship this year also for my juniors. And also they asked in an uh, interview of uh, placement interview. So analysis of op-amp circuit and introduction to switch cap circuits you can see in champion team. This is a very important thing. You can watch in this. And after that, what is left? Okay. So I think maximum things are covered here. Yeah. So maximum things are covered here. You can see these links. Uh, almost everything is available here. You have to give your time and so that you can prepare well. So the time is important. I will mention here the time is very important. So you just start from August itself. Or whosoever has started is good, but who are not yeah, started yet, please start from August because you have to you have to think about both the things. Uh, at the same time, you have to uh, worry about your project also, and at the same time, you have to prepare for the interview. At the same time, not interview is that much important right now, but at least you have to be uh, prepare your mindset accordingly. So written exam means uh, FT section, and after that, this technical section, a lot of stuff is there. But be very clever and intelligent and ask from your seniors and what possible help I can do. Please ask me that at whatever the time where you are, you are staying at particular time in their preparation, ask me the, what uh, we can do. I'll discuss with my friends and my seniors. I'll tell you the way uh, what you should watch, what you should not watch at that particular point of time. Okay. So some advanced topics are there, which I followed. I'll tell you. Why I mentioned advanced because negative feedback amplifiers in op-amp design Miller compensation. This thing I watched from the analog IC design course, Nagin Krishna Prasar, IIT Madras. So this is also, these are very important things actually. If one has time, he can give, uh, but if you don't have time, don't worry about it. But I, I would uh, personally suggest that uh, at least negative feedback amplifiers or negative concept of neg negative feedback is very much important in amplifier design. Okay. And Miller compensation was the one uh, compensation technique given in the op-amp design. So one must watch the single stage op-amp is fine. But if you can watch the watch two stage op-amp also. Second stage op-amp you should watch. And in second stage op-amp, especially I'll say you about um, at least see about the few things like uh, pole zeros analysis means stability analysis. And what are the compensation techniques? So these are mentioned here. And after that Rajabi 2, I also followed. I watched completely this playlist also. But if you have time, then I will rec only recommend this uh, playlist because it is not that important. It is important, but it was not asked much. These topics like understanding of current mirrors, current sources, differential amps, useful frequency response concepts, introduction to feedback system. So feedback is very, very depth. Uh, is feedback here is explained in great depth and very well explained here. So if you want to understand about the feedback systems and feedback, especially, which is very important, negative feedback and feedback topologies. So for negative feedback, you follow this link and also you can follow this link. I I seriously recommend this thing. Rajabi electronics too. If you have time, then go through current mirror circuits. What are the possible current mirror topologies are there for current mirror? All you also, you can uh, uh, go to the IIT Madras lectures. I have not mentioned here, but you can Anirudh professor Anirudh. I think Professor Anurudh, there you can go for current mirrors. He has also explained well. So this is a recommended you people. Now uh, feedback and stability intuitive way of understanding mirror composition analog snippet. This is a YouTube channel analog snippet. You can visit here. You will find a lot of relevant content there. Okay. So uh, there are also one playlist in this analog snippet uh, that is about the band gap reference. So one who has a project in this particular can see because it will be helpful for you to um, for preparation of band gap reference because it is important uh, while they're asking about a project they may ask related to this. And one thing that was asked by a few companies in interview that is a mismatch in current mirrors. So one should watch these videos analog snippet and uh, this is uh, yeah there is a SS 
CD, IIT Kanpur, there is a YouTube channel. You should visit there. You will find a lot of relevant content. Noise concept is also described here well. So for noise, you can again visit Anirudh, Professor Anirudh, IIT Madras, Analog IC Design. And also at the same time, IIT Kanpur, you can watch this playlist. Uh, so the mismatching is very important. I think company uh, on day zero of my interview, one company asked me about this. I think Qualcomm asked about the mismatch in current mirrors. One of my friends, he asked, they asked about the mismatching in current mirrors. So maximum questions were about the RC part only in the Qualcomm interview and after the Texas instruments also. Maximum questions are related to RC parts, amplifiers, switch cap circuits. But at, at higher level, after 5 transistors to OTA, if they can have something to ask, they will ask about mismatch and noise analysis in 5 transistors to OTA. Hardly they will go to the uh, two-stage op -amp, but at least in single-stage op -amp, you must be clear with your uh, ICMR and uh, uh, means common mode rejection, slew rate, and whatever the possible uh, terms related to your single stage amplifier, differential amplifier, or I should say five transistor pro TA, you must be prepared with along with the mismatch in the current mirrors and mismatch in the that five transistor pro TA due to this uh, current mirroring uh, phenomena also only. So, and after that, uh, watch whatever is required I have written because analog electronics, SSD, IIT, Kanpur, again, the same playlist, uh, again, the same channel, you can find this playlist and you can see whatever the relevant according to your preparation. And this is a really advanced playlist, I would say, that uh, Professor Ali Hazimiri, uh, Caltech. So new analog circuit design, it is not that much recommended. But one who, has, who want to learn analog really, and uh, this is not, these, the advanced part is not recommended for you all during the placements. This is something uh, selectively you can watch. And at the stage of your preparation, you can ask. And that is a high frequency circuits again, SSC, IID, Kanpur. Here, there also you can learn a lot of the things about the noise, mismatches and all. So these are all advanced topics. So, okay. At the end, I will say that these are the topics I've explained. What should you prepare? And, and I also tell how should you prepare? So now uh, let's come on how. Whether I explained initially how, but yeah. In how I would say that start early start. I have taken very early start. Second, practice more. Third, conceptual clarity. Conceptual understanding is very much important. If it is not clear at one place, if your concepts are not clear at one place, visit many places. Many places I mean to say different channels, different people like your seniors or your classmates, your seniors, classmates, visit many places, thick YouTube channel, where people you can ask. And also the very important thing that I will recommend here is your discussion part. I personally involved myself for the last uh, one month before the placement, last one month before the placement in discussion mode. And me along with my friend, we were preparing the concept we were discussing on the whiteboard. You can buy some whiteboard. So on whiteboard, you can discuss, you can uh, write particular uh, concept there and try to explain each other. So discussion is a much more important during the placement journey. So I'll say that, uh, okay, points are mentioned here, early start, practice more, learn more, conceptual understanding should be very much important for interview as well as for the written exam. It's not that much important, but for interview, it is very much important. So uh, for that conceptual understanding, you can visit many places. Don't stick your preparation. Don't do the preparation alone. I'll suggest you. I'll recommend the things of like discussion, uh, visiting many channels for clearing your one doubt and uh, also visiting many people like your seniors, your classmates, so that you can clarify your doubts. Whether answering in the interview is very much important, but they may switch, they may flip the concept. But what happened in, with me in, during my uh, interview, uh, yeah, what happened with me? They asked one question and after one question, they did some modification in the second question and some modification for the third question. So there is a nothing but a hierarchical increment of depth of the question. So you cannot expect that one RC question and it is over. Maybe in one RC question, first they will add this thing. And after that, they will add this thing. Sometimes they may apply uh, uh, means uh, 
voltage source. After that, they may apply a current source step. They may apply the impulse current source, impulse voltage source. So there may also apply your AC source. So whatever the possibilities are there, they can do in one question itself. And they personally did with me this thing. In Qualcomm interview, it same thing happened with me and I got stuck because of answering in faster way. So the recommended thing is that first I should say you don't be panic while it is a written or interview. Don't be panic while it is a written or interview. Stick to your concept. Stick to your basics. Recommended. These are recommended tips that I followed. And also answer with accuracy during written as well as interview. So be patient. Take your time. Take your time. And while you are taking your time, you're asking your time from your interview or during the written exam, and you have to be very clever and you have to engage yourself. Don't miss it ideally while you are taking the time. They may think that you are not having any clue, but try to discuss with things with them. So these are in short, I tried to compile a lot of the tips and tricks, but later I will especially focus on the interview part. In this video, I tried how I prepared, what are the things, what are up and downs during a preparation, what should be our start, what should be the way of starting of the placement, or how early start is important, how maximum discussion is important, how visiting many places, uh, places are important. So these are the things which will be helpful for you to prepare for written exam, especially for interview. But this video is not recommended yet for your interview. Further, I'll uh, make few videos, few more videos. There I'll suggest you how to, there I'll tell you how to prepare, especially for the interview. And uh, if you have doubts, you can um, ask me in between because this journey, which is starting from next month, most probably for everyone from August, September, August, September, October, November. So you have these three, four months, you give you, give your best there. And according to your progress, try to ask questions from your seniors and discuss with your classmates. And also you can put your doubts in comment section of this video so that I can solve as much as possible as I can with discussion with my friends and also with my experience. So I think this is enough. According to your progress, uh, according to your progress over the time, I will design different videos for the interview, but these are few compiled tips you can follow for replacements. And I'll uh, list down this, uh, these particular uh, links, or I'll provide this document in the comments, uh, in the description section, you can visit. But again, the recommended thing is that please in advanced section, don't try to be cover all the things. And also in the basic section, don't try to waste your time with the things you understood. Don't waste much time there. Okay. So at least visit all these uh, links so that you can um, get a clarification on your concepts. Okay, so I think this is enough. Uh, at the end, I'll say thanks to everyone and all the best for replacements. Okay, thank you.